Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's a crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Did you see that the Satanic Temple strikes again for trolling? Did you see this story? They've been doing a few different things here and there lately. And uh, I approve of their right to do so. Yeah, the last thing, this is the thing, I guess like, so I guess in the Iowa Capitol or something, I don't know where exactly this was. I guess if you, any religion is allowed to put up a, like a religious like shrine or something in their hollows. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, like, yeah. it's a, it's a law. Like if it's any religious, whatever. So the satanic temple put some sort of like thing there. <laughs> it was a statue of Bahomet. Um, like the goat I- idealistic. When you think of like the goat with like his hand up on a tarot card, it was kind of oh, like one yeah, of those. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so then, um, some like I think he was like a right wing political figure of of Iowa. He mm-hmm. ran for something in Mississippi or something. Mm-hmm. He decided to take it upon himself to destroy it. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, he mm-hmm. he well he, he broke it and did whatever. He ended up getting arrested. Good because like because they were Good. like the, what should. what the 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 comments that I read were like imagine if this was a Satanist destroying like a yeah. A, yeah. A, a, a like a manger scene at like <laughs> reverse a, the roles, buddy. Reverse the roles, right, right, right. And like so, it's like basically like a religious hate crime. It is, yeah. And uh, and he didn't get like they, I saw what he got. It was very small. He didn't get. He had like some community service. He, like, he didn't some, hurt anybody. Yeah, right. Like you can be a hateful asshole if you just like vandalize. Vandalism ain't gonna get you nothing. Yeah, you might yeah, have to like. Just, you might get a very fine. Interesting that um, I guess what? Go ahead. Oh, I was going on a rant. Do it. <laughs> sure, it. it's fine. Ran it right. up. You know what kills me, Jonas, is that these people who use religion as a an an, an aqueduct into politics. Oh, our yeah. forefathers' ideal of this country was not to become a religious superstate. This is why people have issues with the whole idea of Israel because it is a religious super state. Um, we were supposed to be a country of the people for the people by the people, not yeah, because of, England was a religious put like the king and religion and like all that stuff. Yes, was very we moved much. here for religious freedom. That is what our forefathers came to America for. Was for that religious freedom. Right. That is what this country is built on. And it seems as though certain people in the government seem to have this just this urge, this this compulsion to instill their own religious beliefs into what America is. And in some cases, it may be beneficial to what you be- what you believe is should be the truth or whatever. And in some cases is detrimental. Yes. I would like it if separation of church and state was a real thing, which is a real thing quote was actually a real thing. Yeah. I feel like hot take. If you're a devout Christian, you should be disqualified from running for office well, because you are compromised, compromised. Okay. Your belief structure has compromised you. You don't want Muslims to come to the country. I don't want a Christian in office. Well, I mean, that speaks more of like the person than the religion, though. You're compromised. Unless you can, unless you can de- delineate between the two, you can actively go into your job and forget that you are a Christian and do your goddamn job the objectively way that... Objectively. Like- objectively, yes. Then, yeah. But I don't see a lot of these Christians able to do so. A lot of that, the Christianity is the reason that people even go to office. I'm not advocating against religion. Religion. I think it's a wonderful thing and it helps a lot of people through their hard times and deal with trauma and to become a better person, you know, faith and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, whatever yeah. your motivation to be a better person, utilize that. But I feel like it's clouding a lot of people's judgments and a lot of the decisions that are being made that are, in fact, Im- impacting everyone. What, what I think is really interesting, funny, ironic, I guess. Is that like so? Religion is like what you, like you said. It's there to like have like some people use it as like a moral guideline. They use it for like like uh, 
for faith, for leaning on, having something to lean on in hard times. Let's, let's say what it is. It's a crutch. It's a crutch. And then let's say what it is. And then uh, it's all right. There's all kinds of crutches, man. But then some people smoke weed. They right, like you either <laughs> believe in Jesus or you smoke weed. One or two, whatever. right? Right. And so then, it then it has transformed into a. This is my crutch. If you don't believe in my crutch, then you're an asshole. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that is wild. That'd be like telling somebody that doesn't drink they're a piece of shit because they don't drink because that's how you get by. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're like, oh man, you don't smoke crack, you a loser. Like, excuse pretty me, much. like, pretty much. It's it's, it's very fun. one of the most powerful. Uh, the, like, it's it's kind of derogatory, so I don't really like want to necessarily like uh, put too much light on it. But it was uh, it was a Young Turks, which is like uh, the uh, liberal like uh, YouTube channel or whatever news program, and the lady says like. I don't care about your religion or what's in your, your, your GD book of fantasies <laughs> and should not affect or tell me what I can do with my body or what I decide in my life. This country is not built on, on the backs of, of your little, your little fairy tale book. It's built on what is right for the people. It's right. built on religious freedom. So I, I don't know. Like I say, man, I, I want what's best for the country when it comes down to it. Um, yeah, me too, man. I'm not necessarily in, in one in one boat or the other one. Yeah, I'm not an uber patriot or anything, but like I like America and I like living here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't so, want to live anywhere else. <laughs> my my ideals are not, not bathed in, in uh, the diaspora that is happening currently between between the left and the right. My, my, my ideals are, are baked in what would just be more beneficial and, and giving people the most freedom to move around. Cause that's really what people want is the freedom to move around. Yeah. Stop. Why are we taking rights and, away? Just give everybody the same shit and stay the fuck really out of the way. Because it, it is what I find is very interesting is that if, if the, if the two sides took the best of both and mix them together. Amen. It would be a very good system. Like they hey. both have some very good like things they want to do. And hey. it's so funny that they, it's like always like we have to do it all our way or all our way. And that's it. Like no, yeah. there's no middle ground period. And, it blows and, my mind. And, and, the, and the degree of separation is only getting more and more when, we, when we're discussing like petty shit that, that don't even really matter. Don't really matter. We need to just start allocating funds where they're needed and stop concerning ourselves with so many of these social issues. When it comes down to it, man, the American people decide the way that this country is headed. And if people say it's all right to do something, you can lag behind and act like it's not. But we already made a decision because when people decide it's all right to do something, it's all right to do something. You're going to have a hard time taking that out of people's hands, you know? Right. So I don't know, man. I feel like people just want to move around. People just want to do what they want to do. And I don't see why anybody needs to stand in their way. If you're not breaking any laws, you're not harming yourself, anybody else, feel free to do what you want. TNT for 2024. <laughs> well, and that's, the, and that's the interesting thing. It's like they spend so much time trying to, like, influence the way people live their lives rather than putting in put systems in place to help people la live their lives better. Mm -hmm. It's like, I want to tell you how to live your life, not put things in place so you can live a better life. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's and that's the funny part is like, oh, you want to be gay and or you want to smoke weed or you want to do whatever. Let's try to make life as hard for those people as possible mm -hmm. rather than just, like, being like, oh, if they legalize gay marriage, this is the benefit. Or if they legalize weed, this is the benefit, like, you know, to the public or whatever. And it's just, it's just insane that they spend so much time bickering about how people want to like who they want to fuck or who they want to yeah. or like what they want to do or like and no it doesn't matter like if Steve and Bill are banging in their bedroom what does it matter to anybody else in the world no if, if, don't if bother me at man. home smoking weed by themselves yeah because that's how they cope like who they hurting hey. like, you, you know what I mean but if you out here like hitting animals or kids or something like yeah we need to get on those people and tell them not to live a life like that absolutely in <laughs> fact know? more stringent laws yeah exactly. death penalty for any crime over petty larceny wow a TNT 2024 <laughs> <laughs> what that escalated quickly <laughs> what like murder everyone yeah uh, get so, them out of here anyways go to thecrazytown.com that's where we're at uh, for Jonas and TNT oh uh, yeah